Video blog. Hey guys, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 24 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. Okay, so at the end of the last episode, we had just finished adding these two tanks, uh, where we added uh, a few new species. That was it. Yeah, we had to move the grouper over because this tank wasn't big enough. And uh, we added a couple of cool new species, both which change color. Uh, uh, which have a, a great combo with this little shell here. Um, and now we're going to actually see whether this layout works. Now, um, actually, oh, before I go on, I, I should say, I, uh, I, I've now launched the uh, pay, the Steam page for Mega Aquarium, uh, and therefore it's now possible to wishlist the game. So I highly recommend doing that. You'll see a link up in the top right corner of your screen right now. Uh, so if you want to follow that and... Uh, wishlist the game you're very welcome to uh, but of course no pressure if you want to keep watching and, uh, and and not do that <laughs> anyway I have a suspicion that the uh, adding these extra tanks is gonna spread our, our guys a little bit too thinly now we have these two but I'm gonna hire another one we'll go for Rachel because she's just really good at feeding and feeding is the main thing that's gonna take our time at the moment and for now I'm not going to do anything but we'll see if there's any issues and we might need to add some prioritization or perhaps some zoning uh, I have shown these in the previous blog but I never showed them kind of in action and this is sort of the size of the aquarium when you might start have to do that because the walking distance between you know say here to here is quite significant um and you know what the other thing is we need to just check what these guys eat uh of course this is the old version of the game i have been working on a new version in the background and in this version it doesn't say what they eat you have to go into this menu super uh, user friendly okay krill pacifica and nori okay nori's good we already got some nori from here but uh so this is where it could get interesting. If you really wanted to, you could make it so like one person does all of the like a certain type of feeding. Uh, so they would go to this uh, nori station here, feed your yellow tang, and then come here to feed the rabbit fish. Uh, you can do that if you have enough zones. You can pretty much just have a you know a tank by tank basis. Um, Oh, but then they would still do the other ones too. No, maybe you can't quite do that actually. Although it does, tasks are prioritized based on. Uh, what item the staff member is currently using therefore it could be possible to uh, yeah they might if they if, if they start a nori task here they're more likely to then do the nori task over here uh, but that can also be a downfall because you might have people walking around a lot when actually you'd prefer them just to kind of keep changing food in inside their little island but that's what zones are for okay so that's interesting um Okay, that's fine. Uh, and what was it? Well, this guy ate Krill Pacifica. So that's this purple one over here. This is frozen. Oh, not enough money. This problem again. God, yeah, that's the real problem with this one. Is we, We've got loads of points, but not enough money. Um, we could Maybe we should get this, uh, this reef shark in. Um, we need a big tank. Okay, we'd better play some... We'd actually better play some days. Otherwise, we're never going to get any money. And as soon as we can afford it, we'll get this Krill Pacifica in. We also need some mussels. Um, I don't know what that will do. And I've just realised... Okay, no, no. You know what? I'm not going to bother with um, with the filters right now. What I want to do is I want to watch what happens. So, Rachel has come all the way over here to grab some mysis shrimp. Why? Okay, because there is a... Okay, ooh, sorry about the, uh, knocking my mic there. That's because there is the... Okay, we've got the, the lionfish. Uh, has the I think it's my sis I can't remember yeah live my sis shrimp okay so that's not ideal um, that was a very long walk just to start with um, okay let's see how things pan out that's what Rachel's doing um, now let's watch so we've got um, Fred I think it's just doing some normal feeding yeah that's fine and then Dante's working the muscles <laughs> Okay, he's going to get more muscles over here. All right, that's very, very rubbish. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't think anybody even eats muscles in this tank anymore. Yeah, we've just got two Omnivore Flake and one Nori, which means we really should move this over here. Now, I'm not going to move it now because Dante's about to pick up some muscles, but now he's got his muscles. I'm going to move... 
<laughs> I'm always talking about Dante's muscles, aren't I? I'm going to move that over there. Okay. So, yeah, definitely there is some bad layout stuff going on. Okay, now what's Rachel been doing in the meantime? She went and got omnivore flakes. Uh, and she's doing that. What time? We've got 3 o'clock. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, definitely some people are going to not get fed. Although, oh, oh, can she do it? She literally just needs to pop up here, grab there. Oh, this is down to the wire. Oh, come on. 20 minutes. What are you doing? Uh, you see, this is the other issue, okay, that happens if you don't have um, zoning. This task has now been assigned to, I think, Dante, because he's the one who seems to be walking over there. Uh, this is a problem because Rachel is actually closest. Now that is completely fair. Like, just to, just to explain my the reason it's, it works like that in the programming is because if I didn't do that, the um, you would actually have people kind of tasks waiting around and not being completed just because they're close to someone else. That's crazy, right? You want to spread your tasks out over your staff. That has to happen. And you need it to be consistent. You need it to be set up in a way that the player can work out a consistent way of doing stuff. So the only way of doing it is you have to let tasks be distributed um, evenly across people, even if they happen to be very close to people. Um, but what you can do is, with the zoning, you can actually overrule that. So what I could do is basically make no one else work in this zone and let Rachel just do all of these tanks. Um, and in my you know, infinite wisdom, I know that... Uh, that there's only these short traveling distances uh, whereas you can just let the computer do it and he'll try and distribute the tasks as evenly as possible but of course it has this downfall that I was ju I've just talked about where now Dante has been walking all the way across here to do, to do this task uh, and look you can actually hover over and it does tell you who's doing it and that's useful now what we could try and do let's try and do this it might break the game it might not <laughs> let's do a hot swap so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rezone him and make him so he only works in this zone Okay, and then we're going to, Rachel, we're going to give a new zone, and we're going to let Rachel do up to here. And then I think we'll just let Fred do these three. Where Fred is very good at the, you know what, no, let's let uh, Rachel do the this tank too. Can't actually see it. Uh, possibly the zoning does need a kind of a better kind of, uh, see that's working, uh, visualization. Uh, and then Fred... It, it's this is difficult because he does prioritize cleaning tasks so maybe these two hmm maybe D dante and rachel can do both of them so you can have overlapping zones so look rachel can do all of this and then if we go to dante here we edit green is someone else's zone blue is your zone we can do this and we kind of uh, join them up oh and, and this one uh, and then uh wait rachel yeah rachel is going to do this one too there we go. Okay. And uh, Fred's going to work everywhere. Oh, no, he shouldn't really. No, I'm just going to make it for, so Fred doesn't do feeding. He's only going to do cleaning tasks, uh, which might be a bit wasteful. Um, anyway, so now what should happen is this should, as soon as we unpause, this should get reassigned to Rachel. Oh, and the game ended. <laughs> All of that for nothing. Oh, my word. Okay. Anyway, the only person who didn't get fed was Mars. Um, and we got some poor water quality in this tank. Um, wow, that, that that deteriorated quickly. Okay, um, that's all fine. We're doing okay money-wise. It's just oh, pushing up. We need to get to that next rating to get even more money. Okay, let's let's play a bit more. I haven't haven't had quite uh, you know I haven't I want to do a bit more. You know what I mean? Just haven't quite got my fill. That was the phrase I was looking for. Seventy-three. That's fine for those guys. Now this is going to require. Oh, it's going right down to 5. This is going to require a water quality of 70 for Aphrodite and uh, Mars. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, I might have gone through a little stage of naming fish. I have to... Uh, wait, let me get this right. Roman gods. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Mars. Aphrodite might be Greek. I think Mars is Roman and Aphrodite is Greek. Tell me if I'm wrong in the... Uh, in, the uh, in, in the comments. You uh, old mythology fans out there. Okay, so we are going to need a filter. Now this is still a little bit broken. Oh, not enough money. Shame. Okay, well let's just. I don't. Well, there's only two in there. Let's just go for a little filter. That's probably fine. Yeah, yeah. With so few people in there, we can also fill it with, uh, with rocks to add some extra filtration capacity. To be, to be honest. Okay, I just did a pause when I didn't need to. Okay, this is the next day. All right, let's see how this one goes. 
So this is interesting. What they've chosen to do is Dante and Rachel have chosen to kind of just get everything done um, at the front to start with. Um, Dante's moved on to his section. Now, Rachel is doing this long walk to get the, the shrimp, which is definitely slow. So possibly we just want to put the shrimp here. Um, and this is the problem with these tanks in the middle. If, they, if you don't want your... <laughs> you might be able to hear a cat meowing in the background. I hope... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I live with a cat, by the way. Um, they're my girlfriend's cats. Well, originally they were, but I've kind of adopted them because I've moved in with her. Um, <laughs> um, I hope that's not too noisy. I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> she, won't, she won't be quiet. She can probably hear me talking and she wants to join in. Okay, so. Right. How did this work? Okay, one sec. I'm, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I, I don't even know how much you could hear, but uh, I basically, like, since I moved in with my girlfriend, I'm in this very open plan office, and, uh, you know, I can't really shut the door, so <laughs> stuff like that's a bit of a hazard. Okay, now, um, okay, let's see. So these guys are suffering because of water quality, and a couple of guys weren't fed. Um, man, that went really, really fast. So, and look who it was. It was the two that Rachel had. So, and whoa, 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 whoa. The soldier fish weren't fed. That makes no sense. Dante had loads of time. All right. These guys eat mussels, right? Um. Yeah. That is so strange. Did anybody see what happened to Dante there? Um. Okay, well, we've got to do this now. We've got to kind of iterate on this now. I, I can't have to get this this right. Um, and we're, we're just building up money anyway. And the water quality here is bad. Um, these guys are fully grown. That's fine. Um, wow, okay, we need to upgrade this this filter. That's, that's simple enough. Okay, so let's just go for a massive one. Oh, they're quite expensive, though. I don't really want to spend all that money. 115. Let's just try this one. Oh yeah, this is the one where you can't access it. <laughs> That'll be fine. Alright, 73. And how, what did these guys need again? Oh no, I, this time I can actually just click on them. It's, uh, it's 55. Oh, that's a load. Okay, so hopefully this will help. I'm really surprised these guys didn't get fed. we got to watch Dante this time. Okay, so Dante is going... He's, got, he's getting omnivore. We don't really... Okay, yeah, he's feeding there. Now, you see, this is okay, because Rachel's going to come over here, she's going to do this, and then she's going to head straight back here, and she be, should be able to do these pretty quickly. We've got so many points, I can unlock a shark if I wanted to. Um, unfortunately, I've just been on, um, re-strapped for cash. Where, where, where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Oh, because she's doing this tank, she went and got omnivore flakes, that wasted loads of her time. Ooh, that's frustrating. Um, I can't remember how we set up the zones. Is Dante also allowed to do that tank? No, we made it that one to just Rachel. No, but we made Rachel do this one. Hmm. Not sure the best way of doing this. Basically, I kind of want Dante to just do the Omnivore Flake bit, but she's, because uh, she's assigned to this tank as well, she's she's doing the Omnivore Flake and the Mysis, and it's it's actually really silly. She kind of goes over here, and then she comes all the way back to get some flakes. Hmm. What I might add is individual fish priority, so you can actually also prioritise the order fish get fed in the tank, and that would allow you to fine-tune this and get let the um, the normal the omnivore flake fish get fed first anyway let's see if she manages to get all the way over here in time i think it might be tight but that was that's bad i think what's what's dante doing oh that's just oh no yeah he is he is allowed to do that oh god yeah this is all going it's you know the big the big issue right is that fred's not doing anything that's the main issue here um Fred gonna do this, Dante's gonna do this. Yeah, that's the ugh, basically I took Fred out of the mix and then they just ended up having way too much stuff to do. Um, I think we should just let Fred do this zone on his own. Um, and maybe the middle stuff as well, actually. Um, oh, we just need some omnivore flakes. This one oh I didn't realise we needed omnivore flakes of that tank. Um, 
And this final black bar has just grown and Casper wasn't fed. Okay, shame. Alrighty. So, yeah, okay, we're not really pushing up because we haven't added anything. Um, this is getting quite tricky, actually. You guys are probably have all sorts of ideas of how I can optimize this, but I am struggling a little bit. Now, this, now that these guys are all grown, we're actually lacking a little bit of space. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to take advantage of the new um, viewing space or anything like that. I'm just going to unlock a bigger tank, which has got space for them. So it's just got a bit more volume for them to swim around into it. They're not overcrowded. Um, so I don't get any of the other advantages, like an extra viewing slot or anything like that. Um, so put all these guys, put this in, put this in, put this in, and that all-important filter. Okay, and I guess we could keep this. We're low on cash. I th oh, actually, I think at the moment you get your full money back. 105? Yeah, yeah. So we can safely just sell stuff. That's fine, because we get all our money back. Um, yeah, I think I really messed things up. You've got to be very careful with the zoning. Um, I think if I'm going to go zoning, I need to go full full force. Oh, but he has to be everywhere, because otherwise he won't clean everything. Yeah, this is tricky. Um, well, I guess, you know what we could do? Let's just get rid of this for him. And then with Dante, sorry for her. Let's get rid of this. So Dante's just going to do this. She's just going to do this. We'll leave these three to th Fred. Um, I think I'll just move this Mysis over here. Um, so that it'll be just two little trips to here to do that one. And this one's quite quick. And then these two, it's just two little trips there. We do just need an extra Omnivore Flake to help in here. And so Fred is assigned to everywhere. Which means he might end up doing the wrong jobs. But hopefully... By the time he's done these two jobs, hopefully he'll just he'll do the things that are closest to him. We're going to do one more day, and then next week uh, we'll uh, maybe look at buying some more stuff. Maybe adding that shark tank, frankly, fi uh, finally. Okay, so Dante's going straight here. That's fine. See, now Fred's concentrating on the cleaning, which could be an issue. Why the hell? Why the hell are you doing stuff here? I'm pretty sure I... Oh, what the hell? Oh, she actually went and got the Omnivore Flakes from here. Oh, I don't know what she did. I think she went and did a job here for some reason. Okay, but it's all looking okay. I think the only issue is, is, is are these going to get fed? Because Fred's too busy doing cleaning tasks. Oh, it's a minefield. Now Dante's got nothing to do. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, uh... And I think, what are you doing? For some reason, Rachel is still assigned to this tank. I'm not really sure why, but it's kind of worked out okay. Um, come on, Dante. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. One more feed to do, one more feed. Come on. Who's doing it? Oh, damn it. Pedro. So close, guys. Oh. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, sorry we didn't get to see any new fish this week, it just went really quick, I just spent the whole week optimising layout and uh, staff stuff. Uh, it, it's really easy to just spend like 20 minutes doing that. Um, I haven't been spending much uh, time on the, on, the, on the kind of the points and that sort of stuff, so there's definitely some interesting kind of design outcomes that have come from these play sessions. You know, for example, the best, I love it at the beginning of the game where you've got this really tight loop of like you get enough points to unlock something new, you build that. Um, and I, I also really love this, these like layout considerations that I'm dealing with now. But I think what's a shame is I'm, because I'm wanting to iterate on my layout, I'm not actually like, I'm trying to get it right working how it is, and I'm not actually spending these points on anything. So I wonder if there's something we can do there. Like obviously we want these points to be you to be you to be able to spend them on unlocking new fish and new tanks and equipment and stuff. But I'm wondering if there's some other stuff that you could unlock with them as well, maybe. I don't want it to make it too confusing, but, you know, possibly, I don't know, it sounds a bit weird, but if there was, like, an upgrade that made your your people w walk a little bit faster, like, in this circumstance, I, I would just, like, plough a load of points into that, because that's what I'm concentrating on, if that makes sense, you know? Because right now, I didn't really want to spend more these points on unlocking new fish and making my aquarium even bigger when I was struggling to get it to run just the way it was. So there's a bit of a weird kind of like counter incentive type thing going on there. So I need to give that a little bit of thought. I want this game to just be like 
always feel fun. I don't want it to be like a stressful experience. I want it to be challenging, right? But I want it to I want it to be kind of just like you have a, an amazing range of fun choices to make and it's just up to you to like choose which one you fancy doing i don't want you to ever feel like oh my god i've got this weird thing if i want to be efficient i should be spending these points but if i'm spending those points it means i have to make my aquarium bigger and if i make my aquarium bigger it means it's going to be harder for my staff to get around like i don't want it to be stressful you see what i mean but i want there to be some interesting challenges like i love the staff layout stuff i don't want to get rid of that but i kind of don't want this kind of weird thing where you've got this pressure to expand when you don't really want to um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to have a little think about that. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, uh, yeah, and, and just uh, another little reminder to uh, check out that wish list on, uh, on on the official Steam page for the game uh, if you're interested in it, and, um, and share it with your friends. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.